so over the, uh, the really sort of the past year, I've made no small worries that people like Sargon have really been engaging in, you know, really neo-nationalist neo ideas and really doubling down hard on what we call in and out politics. You know, you're either with us or you're not, or you are in this bubble and, you know, you are the superior one to this one outside. Now, um, Spinosaurus Skin recently had a massive spat with Sargon, and I, I agree with him. Because this is what I've been saying about Sargon for, what, since 2016. There are really worrying things, and the fact that, you know, Sargon wants to come across as a... <coughs> as a news source and then you know as a news source expects everyone to agree with him and there can be no ideolog ideological disagreement. Spinosaurus is perfectly right in his criticisms of Sargon. This whole thing that you know Sargon's doing is cringy as all hell and I it's it, it's really terrifying. The, particularly the fact I didn't realise that apparently Sargon had said this in his in one of his videos. But Spinosaurus brought it up. He said that people like Mike Cernovich, according to Sargon, is a moderate. <coughs> Paul Joseph Watson is a moderate. Okay, I don't know much that about Mike Cernovich other than stuff I've heard, so I'm not going to comment, but I'll tell you who I do know, these next two. Because Paul Joseph Watson is not a moderate. Paul Joseph Watson is a conspiracy theorist. He believes in the 9-11 conspiracy theorist. He believes that 7-7 was carried out by the government. He believes that the recent um, terrorist attack in London was a um, psyop. That this guy that did it had been uh, drugged, <coughs> drugged up, and then, you know, let go into doing this. This is not someone who is a moderate, okay? That is, he is an extremist. I, and I worry the fact that someone like Sargon, who has a big following, is saying, okay, that guy's a moderate. That guy is not moderate in the slightest. And then you get onto Stefan Molyneux, who is <coughs> who is an arc is an anarcho capitalist who wants to destroy um you know capitalism as itself and you know anarchy should <coughs> should reign all over it. And just like he's not a moderate. He also says that People need to practice um, a th what they call defooing, what he calls defooing. And this is basically, if you have a family or friend who does not 100% agree with Stefan Molyneux, you need to cut them from your life. That is a, the talk of a cult leader. Stefan Molyneux is not a moderate. How can Sargon, with a straight face say that, you know, those two people are moderates. What is going on? I've, I've been asking this for a, the longest time, and I'm glad to see that other people are now starting to catch on. Because, you know, I did a video a couple of, like, last month about Dave Cullen. Dave Cullen who, after the London terror attack that just happened, comes out and says, oh, the reason why this happened is failed integration, and insinuating that the guy that did it was a um, immigrant. He wasn't an immigrant. You know, he'd been radicalised at some point. You know, he was an extremist, part of the very, very small minority that go out and do these terrorist attacks. And, as I've said in the past... You've got to be careful because if you play this in and out politics game that, you know, 
a lot of people, the, a lot of these, you know, skeptics on YouTube are now playing, then it makes people easier to radicalise. Because if you're not, you know, one of us, you're not British, you're not following British values, you're not following liberal values, then you are clearly one of them. And then it makes it okay for you to attack anyone that is not in the inner circle. And then you get people in the out circle and these, you know, people on the fringes who get pushed and they end up being radicalised. And that's where we, that's where we land in this situation. I'm glad that by the looks of it, this is starting to happen. And I'm glad that a lot of people are now starting to really question um, Sargon's motives in the types of videos that he's now starting to do. And, <laughs> you know, the straw that broke, you know, I haven't subscribed to Sargon for now, but if if I was still subscribed to Sargon and, he, you, know, he, I, you know, he had said that, that, you know, oh, Paul Joseph Watson's a moderate. I would just unsubscribe from him right there and then. There would be no if ands or buts. It would be unsubscribed. I'm sorry, but <laughs> Paul Joseph Watson is not a moderate. He is no way in any shape or form a moderate. He is a ridiculous loon conspiracy theorist. You know, and I've done videos back in 2012 calling him out for the articles and stuff he was writing about the fact that there was going to be a terrorist attack at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Throughout all the, the, the time, he was constantly doing videos, writing articles about it. And then when it ended, he and Alex Jones went, Oh, congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Um, we've just, you know, stopped a terrorist attack from happening. Aren't we good boys? <coughs> and it was absolutely... Just, it really was sickening. It really was. And... The fact that someone like Sargon, someone who I thought, okay, this guy, you know, seems to know what he, you know, you know he was talking about and, you know, had some pretty good ideas at the time about particularly around Gamergate. I have no idea what the clue is going on about him. It is just absolutely, um, just, it's dumbfounding. It really is the fact that he thinks he would be a moderate. But <sighs> there you go.